what is the relationship between Brahman and the world? Brahman and Jagat. And a problem comes in this context. The problem is, how does the perfect, pure, infinite, sinless Brahman relate to an imperfect, impure, and ever-changing world? The two things seem to be almost opposite. We all know that the world is full of evil. And Brahman, by definition, should be completely devoid of evil. So how can Brahman be related to this world? Advaita Vedanta, once again, has a unique solution to this problem. What Advaita Vedanta says is that ultimately there is no relation between Brahman and the world. We might think there is. From the standpoint of ignorance, there's a relationship. But from the ultimate standpoint, the world turns out to be only an illusory appearance of Brahman. This is what's called Vivattavad in Sanskrit. It's the doctrine that this world is just an illusory appearance of Brahman. Shankara uh, likes he, he's very fond of using the example of the rope and the snake, which I'm sure many of you are already familiar with. He likens Brahman to a rope. And this entire world of names and forms to the snake. And so the idea is, if I'm walking on a road and I see something that looks like a snake, I'm going to jump because I'll be afraid. And then when, <clears throat> when I look more closely, I might find, wait a minute, that was not a snake. It was a rope all along. There was never a snake. Even when I thought there was a snake, there was not a snake. So in the same way, even though there is nothing but Brahman, Shankara says, out of ignorance of Brahman, because we don't know Brahman, we think that there is this world of names and forms, that we are individual souls. But in reality, there was never any world. There, ne there was never any individual souls. There was just Brahman all along. This is Shankara's view about the relationship between Brahman and the world. Ultimately, there is no relationship. There's only Brahman, no world. Brahma Satyam Jagat Mitya is the standard formula to capture this teaching of Advaita Vedanta. Now, by contrast, Vishishta Advaita of Ramanuja and Veda Veda Vedanta subscribe to what's called Parinamavada, the doctrine that Brahman, or at least some aspect of Brahman, actually transforms into the world. According to Vishishta Advaita and Veda Veda, Brahman is both the efficient cause, which is Nimitta Karana, and the material cause, Upadana Karana, of this world. The efficient cause of the world means that Brahman creates this world. Like a potter creates pot out of clay. And Brahman is the material cause of the world. In what sense? In the sense that Brahman itself becomes this world. It's the same material as this world. It's the same material in a different form. Brahman in a different form is the world. This is the material cause. Just as the material cause of clay pot is the clay itself. Okay, so the efficient cause of clay pots is the potter, the human potter, the, who, the person who makes the, the, the pots. And the material cause of the clay pots is the clay itself. So according to Vishtadvaita and Veda Veda, Brahman is both the Nimitta Karana and Upadana Karana of this world. According to Vishtadvaita, Brahman stands to the world as the soul stands to the body. Shariri. Brahman is the Shariri and uh, uh, the and the world is the Sharira. So it's a beautiful metaphor. This entire world can be seen as the body of God. 